Hey everybody, I'm so happy that you are here. Here we are live tonight to hear a special reading of a book that was really special to me and it really touched my heart. And I wanted to give a special thanks to our media specialist at my school because there are hundreds, if not thousands. Hmm. I never did count them all, but I'm pretty sure we must be near that point. But there are just so many books that were written by so many different people who had ideas and and wanted to do something about it. And this book caught my eye as I was walking past it and I couldn't help but stop and take a peek. Have you ever seen a book that's like that where you just were so interested by what the title said, or maybe even just by the illustration. And it really made me stop and think because I'm pretty sure all of us have ideas at some point in time. Maybe we wake up with an idea. Maybe we have a dream about an idea. And what I mean is not an idea of just what you want to eat, but like maybe more to it. Like, how are you going to make something that you want to eat? Are you going to come up with some great new invention or idea about how to put different ingredients together? And then I really started thinking again about all of those authors. And you know what? They had an idea to write that story, right? And even Albert Einstein had many different ideas. And now, do you think all of them were like 100% awesome and great and instant success? Mm, probably not. I heard sometimes more don't work out than the ones that do. But how would you ever get to know that if you didn't take a chance? And you didn't give that idea to any time to even see the light of day. In other words, you took that idea and maybe you folded it up in your mind and you put it back in there somewhere and said, eh, maybe one day I'll get to it. Or maybe you just thought, oh, what am I going to do with that idea? I can't do anything about it anyway. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I'm too young. Maybe... Um, I don't know. What other reasons have you thought of that make you say, eh, I can never do anything with it. So maybe I won't even do it. Maybe someone else will come up with the idea. Maybe I never even thought of that idea to begin with and that I was the one original to it to begin with. Hey, you know what? I'm here tonight to tell you that you're looking at me, right? Well, I came up with this idea to start reading books online. And you know what? I think most people that I tell that about, or if they hear me talking about it, or maybe they've seen one of my videos, probably do a lot of this. Or... What in the world is she doing? Maybe they think I don't have the best idea, but you know what? It's not their idea. It's my idea. And so I didn't fold it up and put it in the back and say, oh, maybe one day I'll get to it. Or let me think about that some more before I do anything about it. I just kind of did it. And for whatever it's worth, if you're here tonight and you're seeing it, that's what I'm excited about. And I have so many other ideas of things that we're going to be doing together on Miss Amy's Learning Adventure that I'm excited to say it just is only beginning because only I can limit how much I get done. Because if I just give up and I say, I don't want to do it, because I'm scared or I'm afraid what other people will think. I guess I'm not going to get to it. But I was tired of waiting. So I hope 
that that will inspire you to go ahead and start maybe, just maybe, writing down your ideas in a journal. So I was thinking I was going to start that right now with you. My favorite color is orange. So what I would say is that maybe you can find your own notebook or your own journal, make it your own. And I'm just going to write ideas and I can go back and I can color it and I can do anything that I want to do to make it exciting for me and make it something that's fun. Not like a job or homework or things that you have to get done because someone else is telling you, but this is something that I'm encouraging you to do and it should be fun for you. So like I have an idea. I want to go two places and maybe you've seen the video where I went to the American Dream Mall in New Jersey and I went exploring with my family to see some fun things that were out there that maybe some people didn't even get to know about or hear about. And I thought maybe they'd like to know what goes on in the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. And so guess what I did? I wrote that down and said, go to the American Dream Mall. I have plans of going to a local bakery here and talking to them about how they make their cakes and cupcakes and many other desserts that they do. I'd like to go to a pizzeria and see the age old classic problem here, thin crust or thick crust. Hmm. But those are things that I thought I would like to do and share with you. So recently, you will be um, seeing this video soon, but just recently, my family and I went to the Turtleback Zoo, which is also in New Jersey, and we explored the zoo. And um, my daughter was there because she was for a, a different event. She was attending a different event, but we went along and we just love going to see all the animals and see what was happening at the zoo. So guess what? That became an idea and now it's going to become a reality. And so I just wanted to tell you, you're never too young, you're never too old, and if your idea was given to you, it's because of this. And I want you to be sure that you hear this. And if you need to later on, go back and listen again, because I want you to know, and I say it on most of all my videos, that you matter in this world needs you. And I believe in you and you have a purpose and you are here for such a time as this because we all need each other. And I know that you have something very special inside of you that you can share with this world and help make it a better place. That's why I'm here and that's why I'm encouraging you because I believe that about you. And if you have never heard that before, well, congratulations, because tonight will not be the first time that you're going to hear that, because every time you come in I, and listen, I am going to be sure to tell you, because it's true. And if no one's ever told you that, I'm sorry, really, because you do matter, and you have a purpose, and there's a plan for you. And I can't wait to see what that is. And I would love to hear from you. Don't ever forget, you can reach out to me and tell me what it is that you're doing or exploring and going on learning adventures. Because at this place with me, sometimes we just get to start the conversation. I'm not the end all be all. You have many family and friends and people around you that are special, that are hoping for all the very best for you, and that you can go on and start these conversations with everyone else. But I sure am over here cheering you on, and I can't wait to see all the good things that you're able to go and do. And I know this world is waiting for it, so what are you waiting for? Go get a journal and start writing down all your ideas, even if they sound silly even to you. Who knows what those will turn into? It's kind of like a seed with a plant. Like I have um, a name that I like to call this as well. It's called growing mustard seeds. Now, 
it's spring over here at this time of the year and seeds are so always amazing to me. They can be teeny, teeny, tiny. And you just drop that into dirt, water it, give it some sunlight and you start to see it grow and it gets bigger and it can bloom into many different things. And that's exactly what an idea is for you, for me, and this story too. In fact, before I get to the story, I want to show you something that uh, is going to be coming out very soon on my website, or it will always be in the description in any of my videos of a journal that I have created. See, who knew? I also have my own book that's going to be coming out soon, and I'll be doing another live to share that with you too. And this one, you get a special sneak peek, but this one is called My Feelings Journal. It is a writing, a drawing and writing experience, and it was created by Miss Amy's Learning Adventures. And you'll get to decorate, don't mind my crazy drawing here, but I was trying to show you that this book is so special for you that it is meant to become part of your way of expressing yourself. And part of making this book special was I made a little box on the front so that you can actually draw on it yourself and make this all your own. Put stickers on it, whatever you want to do to make it your own. And um, we're exploring feelings inside and I'll quickly show you. Um, but each day you're able to write down or draw a picture of how you were feeling. And in the beginning of this book, I give you a whole list of feeling words that you will get to explore and see how that was making you feel. And what did it do? Like, what did you do with it? How did it make you feel? Were you able to identify um, that feeling and how you work through it? And sometimes when we're having a really hard time, we need to just stop and breathe. In fact, let's do that real quick together. So we're going to count in for four and hold it. And then we're going to breathe out for four. Ready? I'm going to count while you breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold it and now let it go. One, two, three, four. Sometimes when we get so excited or upset, all those feelings can make us want to react or do something because of that feeling. And sometimes it may not be the right time and it may not be the right reaction because we want to be careful and keep ourselves safe. And we want to keep all of those around us safe too. And when we take a deep breath, it helps give us a chance to settle and think about what we're doing. And making good choices is a really healthy thing for us to do. And so part of this book, it tells you that as well. And it makes us think about how we may have reacted to those around us and how we might have made them feel. We don't want to scare someone or hurt anyone either. So this would be a good practice for us, speaking of our idea journal, but maybe a feelings journal would be great. And you'll get to circle your, um, your feeling. And you can also think about something that maybe you wish you could have done differently and write that down so that maybe next time you can try that and see if that will help you get through that feeling. And then you have a spot where you can talk about three good things that had happened that day. Sometimes we need to talk about the good to balance out what we feel was the worst. Well, anyway, all of this is coming. And why am I telling you about that? Because it came to me as an idea. And I could have easily put it aside and said, no, I'm not ready. No one wants to know from me. I don't know if I can even tell them what maybe I messed up myself. Well, I had to give myself a lot of grace and mercy so that I can go ahead and say, you know what? Maybe my ideas can work for someone. 
I took a chance. And that's what I'm hoping that you will do. Because, well, you're here tonight. And I'm excited about that. And I don't believe that there's ever just a coincidence. Nope. I think it's on purpose. On purpose for us to hear the things that we need to hear that will help us in the moment. And if the timing wasn't right, that's okay. It will be on my channel forever. And you can always go back and see it when the timing is a little bit better. Sound good? I hope so. Hey, don't forget, let us know. What do you think about the idea? You can always chat it with me or let me know later. Hey, so I would get yourselves ready if I were you. Shake out those wiggles if you have any and maybe call over someone special that's with you so that you can listen to this story together tonight. And maybe you can come up with a fun idea together. Maybe making a party. What would you have the party for? Is there a theme? What kind of theme would it be? What kind of food would you have at it? You see, everything can be an event and having those ideas is a practice for going on to do bigger and better things like I know that I believe in you, you're going to do. Just like this author, they must have come up with this idea. And you know how many times they probably have had to have a pencil and scribble out the mistakes? Yeah, you shake it off, just like you wipe off all the eraser crumbs and you start writing again, because that's just how it goes. Don't get frustrated. Don't get discouraged. Stay strong. They did. And this book tonight is called, whoop, <laughs> What Do You Do With an Idea? And it was written by Kobe Yamada illustrated by May Bessem. And I hope that I'm saying it right. Please forgive me if I said it wrong. And hey, if you want to get a hold of this book, you can either visit your local library, maybe your media center where I got this book, or you can purchase it at a bookstore near you, or I can have a link for, um, for you to be able to explore this book and the many other books that I have uh, read to the YouTube channel so far. And you can start your own library. And I hope that this book inspires you enough that maybe you'll even come up with your own reading book club. And maybe you can get your friends together and think of a club or think of an idea that you can do together. I guess the possibilities are just endless. And here we go. What do you do with an idea? One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? Hmm, looks like the idea showed up. Sometimes that's just how it happens. Even when you weren't even thinking about an idea going, Think, think, think. I need an idea. I need an idea. Sometimes that works. Sometimes they just pop up into your mind. At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. Hmm... See, I knew I liked this book. I can really identify with this person in the story. Yeah, I've walked away from a lot of ideas, but no more. But it followed me. I guess that idea was looking for attention. I wondered what others would think. What would people say about my idea? Uh, this has gotten me trapped too. But I'm pretty sure if you talk to any of my family members, my friends, people I work with, 
this part would have stopped me because I was so worried about what they might think. But at the end of the day, it's not really between them and me and you. This is about me and you. And if they want to come along, come along. They're going to be the ones having more fun too because we're learning that we can laugh, make mistakes, and it's okay. That's just part of life. That's how we learn. It's how we get better. Well, I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before the idea showed up. Hmm. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. Oh, look at the face. Can you see it? Oh. Everyone looked excited that that idea was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. <laughs> Look, the idea was nudging him. All along, that idea just wanted attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. So instead of hiding it and thinking it wasn't meant, the idea took over and they became friends with it. Look, going for a walk together. Probably to think about it some more. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think that it was silly. Yep, I get it. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. Actually, I had a friend of mine from the school tell me that I was weird, but that she would come on and watch just to see how weird I was. And I said, well, that's weird that you keep coming on to watch me. Hmm, interesting. Wonder if she's watching right now. I'll have to ask. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Oh no. This is where we have to put on a really brave face. And you really have to remember that that idea came to you. And it came to you for a reason. This idea was meant to be where it was because this person was the one who was going to go and make a difference with that idea. And not everybody has the same ideas that we have or can have the same ideas because they might not do exactly what you're going to do with it. So words can hurt us sometimes in actions, but this is where you really need to start to remember that you are unique and you are special and you have a purpose and sometimes people are going to say some things that make us feel a little weird about that idea. And you may want to give up on it. Or you may come back to it later on. But I want you to know, remember, deep inside, that idea came to you for a reason. And you have a purpose. And at first, I believed them. Yeah. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. Oh my goodness. This is like they were watching my, my life. I almost listened to them. <laughs> yeah. 
can't do that because it can really bring us down. Look, it really can. And I know only because I, I've lived this. But let's see how this story ends. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. Look at that. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. And to me, that means that it's such a big, wide open space that there's room for all kinds of ideas. It doesn't have to be put in a box and hidden and make it fit into all the things that everyone else says that it has to be. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. Wow. That was super important. What a great idea. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Wow. This is it. This is the moment. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And that's how I feel now. Whenever I look where I'm going, like even a food store or to the zoo or maybe even to the post office, that can become a learning adventure because even though maybe I've been there before, maybe you haven't. And Maybe you want to know about it because boy, oh boy, there are lots of things that you can find on YouTube everywhere and all across social media. And they're talking about lots of things that I didn't know about. So why couldn't I do it? And now everywhere I look and I see a book or an empty notebook, that becomes a journal in my mind. Or that book becomes a learning adventure that I get to read with you here when we get together. So I understand this. That idea has gone everywhere. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. Now. Can I change the world right now from this live stream? Maybe not the whole world, but I'm hoping that at least one of you becomes inspired or encouraged to not just shoo those little ideas away, but that maybe you can go and make it into something even bigger and then bigger than that because, hey, you never know. You know, everything starts with just an idea. 
just even the fact that there are books, somebody said, hmm, I wonder if I write this down in a story, maybe someone else might find it interesting and then they'll want to read it. And maybe they'll go and tell someone else and someone else will read it. And well, who started that idea with writing it down? Do you see how important it is? Well, anyway, I hope that you are inspired from this story tonight to go on and to do big things. And if the timing's not right, it's okay. Just don't forget about it. Come back to it. Maybe never know what it could turn into be. Because the fact that you're here is because I just had an idea. And I just thought, why not? Let's get together. Well, hey, I hope that you are going to have a great week and that you will come back again and join me on our learning adventures. And hey, you never know. We might be exploring another holiday, another culture, another emotion. I don't know. So come on back and we'll get together again. Have fun and have a good night. Bye, everyone. Take care.